The six best indoor plants to purify the air in your home. There are a few things that can take your home to the next level and prove you're a real adult a bookshelf, a bar cart, and perhaps most of all, an indoor plant. But let's be real, most people aren't plant experts and have no idea where to start, admitting it is the first step. So, what are you waiting for? Add these indoor plants to your home, and you'll start reaping all the healthy benefits ASAP. 1. Snake Plant. $37. Don't let the name fool, or more likely, scare the crap out of you. Marino explains that the snake plant simply gets its name from the thin, upright leaves with irregular green banding that look like, you guessed it, snake skin. Besides looking cool, it's a low maintenance plant that's known for surviving droughts, making it perfect for newbies living in almost any environment. Although the snake plant prefers bright light, it can survive lower light levels, she adds. Snake plants have also been shown to filter out nasty chemicals, like benzene, formaldehyde, trichloroethylene, xylene, and toluene, so you can breathe easy having this in your home. Pet friendly? No. 2. Pothos $37. Sometimes referred to as the cubicle plant, the pothos is a great pick if you're a self-proclaimed black thumb, says Marino. Just so you know, a black thumb is the total opposite of a green thumb. And while this plant starts out small, its trailing vines can grow to over 10 feet long, wow, even indoors where lower light and dry air make conditions less than ideal. As an added bonus, this plant is super easy to grow, adds merino, and propagates, translation, breeds more pothos, in water. You can basically get as many plants as you want for the price of one. And like the snake plant, the pothos filters benzene, formaldehyde, xylene, and toluene. Pet friendly? No. 3. Dracaena. If you live a high-maintenance life, always on the go, out at all hours, you need an easy-going, low-maintenance plant, like the Dracaena, says Vasilkioti. The Dracaena is great, she explains, because it can easily adapt to different light environments, though it's best to keep it away from direct sun. The hardiest of of these group is Dracaena Lisa, she explains. It can deal with indoor temperature and season changes better than others. When it comes to purifying the air, though, the Dracaena marginata plant is your best bet. It removes benzene, formaldehyde, trichloroethylene, and xylene. Pet friendly? No. 4. ZZ plant. $44. If you live in a lower light environment, Merino suggests getting a ZZ plant because they're drought tolerant and incredibly low maintenance. You might notice the ZZ has large potato-like rhizomes aka horizontal stems that continuously grow under the surface of its surrounding potting mix. These rhizomes, Marino explains, store water and help the plant survive drought in its natural environment. That means they'll also help it survive infrequent waterings in your space, think once a month if your plant's in medium indirect light. Oh, and Marino adds that many cultures believe a ZZ plant symbolizes prosperity and friendship, making it a great housewarming gift. Pet friendly? No. 5. Spider plant. $10.99 plants that give off instant jungle vibes, like the spider plant, are having a serious moment right now, according to Marino. And they're super easy to care for, says Vasilkio T. These plants need bright light, but no direct sun, so they're perfect to put in a room with big windows. Just keep it away from the windowsill. Vasilkioti adds that this plant is fun to have around because it grows baby spiders, spiderettes, which can be easily propagated. It's also a strong air purifier, removing both formaldehyde and xylene. Pet friendly? Yes. 6. Rubber tree. $52. If you have a tendency to forget about your plants, or are new to the whole plant-parent lifestyle, get a rubber tree. According to Vasilkioti, they're tolerant to some degree of neglect few, and handle underwatering better than overwatering. Sound like your kind of plant? Great, just know that a rubber tree needs bright light, can take some partial sunlight, and a good amount of space around for it to be happy, grow, and remove carbon dioxide from your home. Pet friendly? No.